It is one of the most famous houses in the world. Falling Water, right in Fayette County, open for the season over the weekend. Krista Rose stopped by today and has more on how there was some controversy in its construction. If you're looking for a great example of unique American architecture, you need look no further than the house that sits over the stream in Mill Run, Pennsylvania. That house is known as Falling Water. It was the vacation home of the Kaufman family of Pittsburgh, and it was designed by famous American architect Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, he came to this site in 1934, and the house was constructed between 1936 and 1939. Falling Water is considered by many to be Wright's greatest work, and it perfectly encapsulates his philosophy of organic architecture, or architecture that works with the nature around it. Even when you're inside the house, you can't help but feel that you're out in the landscape around you. Building Falling Water was no small feat, and as brilliant and as renowned as Frank Lloyd Wright was, he did get a little testy with the Kaufman family when they went and got a second opinion on the house's construction from local Pittsburgh engineers. Once they saw Wright's design for Falling Water and the cantilevers that are sticking out over the waterfall, it was such a daring, bold design um, that the Kaufman family actually consulted with engineers in Pittsburgh who warned them about the design um, and said that it was dangerous. Wright was not happy about the consultation and even threatened to leave the project, but in the end, cooler heads prevailed. Some additional rebarb was added to shore up the structure, but largely Wright's original design stayed intact. The Kaufman family gave over the house to the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy in 1963. They wanted the house to not only be preserved as a museum, but open to the public so that everyone could experience this place. Since then, millions have visited this site from around the world, and Falling Water is not only a national historic landmark and a Pennsylvania Commonwealth treasure, but in 2019, Falling Water was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I think Falling Water's legacy is serving as an example of Wright's ideas, but then also, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright aside, I think it's a place where people come to get inspiration, to be reminded of how important it is to spend time outdoors with nature. For tour and ticket information on Falling Water, check out this story at kdka.com. Reporting at Falling Water, Krista Rose, KDKA-TV News.